Execution is just another form of killing. Um, and it may not be legally defined as murder, but it really isn't any different. equal to the life of my sister and her husband and their baby. It is a dishonor to her memory to suggest that. In 2001, we took Tim McVeigh from his cage and we killed him. And I received no healing or no special uh, feel good out of, that, uh, out of that day. I hope you will see that executing someone helps no one. Killing another human being will not undo the terrible act of murder. Talking about the death sentence, many people will say, "What about the rights of the victim's family?" 但被害者家属的权益和死刑废止必然是相互冲突的吗 ？MVFHR 是一群由被害者家属所组成的团体，他们这次远渡重洋到韩国、日本、台湾三个国家，和当地的被害者家属、律师、人权团体以及一般民众交流，并互相分享自身的故事及对死刑的想法。And that's when she wrote in her own blood, the blood that was coming from her body, this this mark. It's a heart, which is the symbol for love, and the letter U, which is short for you. I I love you, which is how she used to sign her notes and letters to him. It would be good to have his apology, but I'm not waiting around for that. I already forgave him, not because he deserves it, not because he's asked for it. Not for him, for me, for me, and for Nancy. We at Murder Victims for Human Rights believe that every execution is another kind of murder. Survived his parents' execution. I have an unusual perspective. How does a child who has just turned six understand his parents' execution? As far as I can tell, no one has bothered to study this, even though these children are all innocent victims of the state's efforts to kill their loved ones. My father was murdered in front of my mother, in front of his wife, in our family home, and I opposed the death penalty. And sometimes people like us, who speak out about the you know, opposition to the death penalty, get dismissed as being, you know, either crazy or sometimes saints. And uh, I will tell you, the, the five of us. None of us are saints, and while sometimes we act a little crazy, the reality is we're just five ordinary people. After after my daughter's death in the Oklahoma City bombing, I uh, I was so angry and so full of revenge that I wanted the uh, I wanted the death penalty for Tim McVeigh. And, uh, and Terry Nichols. That's what the death penalty is. It's just, it's just revenge. And re you can't go through the healing process when you live with revenge. I know I tried. I tried for a year. I was full of revenge. It was about three in the afternoon. It was a very cold day. And uh, every muscle in my body ached. From abusing alcohol the night before, and I went to asking myself a series of questions: What did I need to do to be able to move forward? Because what I was doing was not working. On October 1st of 1997, my 10-year-old son Jeff was—he、uh, was kidnapped and he was murdered. He was、uh, taken by two men to、uh, 
It is quite difficult for them to speak out against the death penalty in our community, society. And many silent crime victims, family members, who actually have their own opinion on the death penalty. Let us work together to help our political leaders in Japan and the United States to fully evolve and to live in nations and in a world where there is no death.